Hey folks, got an RU battle against Tepig of Smogon. I have greatly sped up this battle, and you'll see why about halfway through. I lead off with my Rotom, he leads off with his Alakazam. I'm going to Bolt Switch out of there and do a whole, whole lot of damage. It turns out I could have probably won and KO'd him with a, um, whatchamacallit, Leaf Storm. He goes ahead and puts up a Substitute, and is going to switch out, sacrificing his sub when he sees that I've sent in my George III. Uh, I'm going with the Scald, hoping to get the burn. When I see he goes for the uh, Curse, I'm going to want to switch out and try to Dragon Tail him out with my Steelix. So he keeps going for the Curse, he's getting kind of greedy, uh, because he's thinking that if he gets up enough Curses, he will be able to sweep my team, and I won't be able to do much to him. But lo and behold, I do have the Dragon Tail, I get him way out of there, he, uh, all of his stats are reset, uh, he, Magmortar is uh, dragged out, I'm going to go ahead and swap as he swaps as well. Um, he swaps into Zest Noir, who's going to go ahead and use Confuse Ray. George III is going to hit himself in the Confusion, but that's really okay. I mean, it's recovering back all that health with Leftovers anyway. Um, gets burned. That's less unfortunate. I hit myself again in the Confusion, but uh, and this time the burn damage is going to do a fair amount. He's going to go ahead and hit me with Shadow Punch, and I'm hoping that the Skull is going to get some burn hacks on, on him, because that'll kind of cripple his Dust Noir. I mean, if it, it's obviously a somewhat offensive set, because if you weren't going for offense, well, this is RU, I was going to say you could go for a Dust Glop instead of Dust Noir uh, with Eviolite, but not an RU, I guess. So anyway, I send out uh, my Tuesday just to set up spikes, and I think he can't really do anything to me, especially after the Intimidate, so I got off one layer of spikes before he confused me, and I'm just hoping I can power through the confusion and get off at least one more layer of spikes. I actually go for the Waterfall here just to see how much damage it'll do. He goes ahead and burns me now, um, but that's really okay. I'm not planning on attacking him anymore, especially considering how little Waterfall did. He goes ahead and switches into Porygon Z. Uh, I snap out of the confusion, set up a second layer of spikes, and that is quite excellent. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to call back to my Tuesday at this point and go out into Hatterack thinking I can resist any attacks on his end. He goes for the try attack does a hefty lot of damage considering it's resisted. He goes for another try attack and I'm hoping, you know, no burn, no freeze, no paralysis, whatever. Get up my stealth rocks, and so now I'm going to be able to set up my strategy of dragon tailing and doing massive, massive amounts of damage just through recoil. I get frozen, but I thaw out immediately, so kind of a wash there. Uh, out comes his Dust Noir, it takes a lot of damage. I'm down to 29 HP, and I think I'm going to want to call out oh, 48 after leftovers, and I'm going to want to call out. I'm going to go ahead and send out maybe because it's time to get some heal belling action and recover both of my Pokemon who have been burned. Um, but also this Dust Noir is a huge thorn in my side, and I'm going to want to talk to him with him before anything else. He goes ahead and uses Will-O-Wisp, it misses, and that's rather unfortunate. I snap out of my Confusion, which is great, get off the Toxic, and that's also great. Um, he misses his Will-O-Wisp again, but it really, really does not matter because I'm packing the Heal Bell, I'm running the Heal Bell, uh, both of my burned Pokémon are no longer burned. Anyway, he goes ahead and uses Confuse Ray. Uh, yeah, again, this is a very, very stally portion of the battle. And he sends out Doug Trio, and I'm like, okay, well, that's it for maybe. You know, in like the last three battles I've used with this team, maybe he's gotten a kill. And at this point, when he gets behind a sub, I'm like, okay, well, you know, not going to get a kill today. Really can't do anything against him. He uses uh, Stone Edge, and it doesn't actually do that much damage. And more importantly, he's Life Orbin, so I'm thinking... Can I actually Life Orb stall him out? I can't switch, I can't have no other choice but to try to Life Orb stall him out because I've got the Wish, I've got the Protect, I've got the Leftovers, and it doesn't look like his Earthquakes are going to be able to KO me after all that. Now, granted, he could get a crit, and that would ruin my day, and so I'm actually kind of doing a toss-up here in terms of what kind of uh, stalling I'm doing, because if I Protect, then he doesn't uh, take Life Orb damage, and but I don't want him to crit me and for maybe to die. So yeah. Uh, go for another Wish here, I'm still at 248 HP, I go for the Protect this turn because again I'm really worried about a crit, back up to full HP and that's excellent, his Doug Trio goes for Earthquake this turn, and I'm thinking this is the turn it's going to die to life for, but it actually survives with a little bit of HP, uh, get out back a little bit of health with Leftovers, going to go ahead and go for the Protect, again really worried about getting a crit, having my hacks being paid back to me. Earthquake hits, gets me down just over uh, under half, and I get off the wish as he dies to life orb recoil. So maybe it's a bloodthirsty bastard got another kill. Audino kills for the win. So anyway, 
Uh, knowing that this guy is specially defensive and probably, or specially uh, offensive, and probably specs, I send out my George III, take that hidden power fighting, Lego goes nothing, and here I go for the skulls. I get the burn. Now, you can argue that that's hacks, but this is like my fourth or fifth time using Skull, and this is the first time I get his uh, Munchlax burn. So now Porygon Z, I, you know, I think I can probably survive a Dark Pulse, and indeed I do, so no flinch, I'm able to take him out with a Skull, and that is excellent. George III is cleaning up, he sends out his Mag Mortar, and here I do something a little bit strange, I call back George III, thinking this guy's also either Scarf or Specs, I just wanted to see what he's going to lock himself into. He uses Thunderbolt, and that's going to take out my Tuesday. Really, that was a poor move. I could have done. All, I could have sent out a number of different Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and send out Steelix, so he is choice in some way. Alakazam is amazingly not a uh, Magic Guard. Maybe he either breeds and hadn't had enough time to make a Magic Guard one, or, um, or I don't know. But anyway, he goes ahead and goes for the Confuse right here. Uh, and I'm just going to have to power through the Confusion, and I do. I get the Earthquake, gets him down to very low HP, uh, low enough that I'm hoping that Toxic will take him out, but it doesn't. He goes ahead and goes for the Will-O-Wisp this turn. I snap out of the Confusion, go for the Earthquake, take out his Dusk Noir, and that is S excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hatterack is down to 67 HP. He sends out Mag Mortar. I'm predicting the Fire Blast, but I stay in anyway just because I want to see what he's going to lock himself into. I don't want to overpredict. I send out George III, and this is good game. So he's going to Fire Blast me, isn't going to do anything. I go for the Scald, and his Mag Mortar is down. So, great game, uh, Tepig. 